With warmer months and the long weekend around the corner, no doubt more people will be heading out to the city's park, including Bluffers Park here in Scarborough. But if you're a motorist, you may want to reconsider driving down here this summer. That's because the area's councillor has proposed some new road rules following years of complaints from residents. I would love for Larwood to not be <laughs> to not be uh, everybody's uh, parking spot. Years and years of frustration aired out this evening at a meeting inside Birchmount Community Center, where residents living close to Bluffers Park expressed concern over increased vehicles in the area. Dealing with these types of issues, it's always about trying to find the right balance. These residents say during the summer months, thousands of park visitors take over their streets, parking vehicles where they shouldn't be, littering on their lawns and leaving dirty diapers, food and chairs behind. All the while, the frustrated people living here year-round say they're faced with the burden of dealing with it. People block our driveways. Um, last year, I had every day was coffee cups or lawn chairs that were thrown on my yard. Um, it takes about 45 minutes to get up my street. Usually without this uh, kind of traffic, how long does it take you or should it take oh, you? 20 seconds. After years and years of hearing these complaints and one of the busiest park seasons ever last year, the area's councillor is putting a new plan in motion this summer that will affect motorists on weekends and holidays between 9 a.m. and 10 p.m. Last year we had upwards of four or five police officers and park staff trying to manage the inflow of all of these people coming, which was very unsafe. The first motion councillor Gary Crawford put forward was approved by city council. Non-emergency vehicles will not be allowed to access Brimley Road south during the time frame. On weekends during the summer by 9 a.m. the parking lots are full. There's no way to get down here. And what is happening is there's a bottleneck up at the entrance which is at Brimley Kingston Road and then all the cars are parking on the side streets. They're parking on both sides of the streets which is a severe safety issue. To address that the councillor put forward another motion that will need to be approved next week proposing no standing zones on six side streets south of Kingston Road. Vehicles will only be allowed to park on one side on Tatra and St. Quentin Avenues, Gradwell Drive, Larwood Boulevard and Redland Crescent West and East. These aren't final. The councillor says more changes could come. There are frustrated people, understandably, and we're trying to figure out how we can alleviate that and work with them to deal with some of the challenges they're having. Signs will need to be installed, costing the city six grand. These rules won't apply to the newly approved TTC buses that will run every 15 minutes from Kennedy Station right into Bluffers Park. The councillor is urging drivers to leave their cars at home and instead take public transit. But if you still decide to drive, be warned if you break the law. The fine is no longer just $15. But if you do come on the weekends, any time after 9 a.m., is a good chance if you park on a side road, you're going to get a $100 ticket and you'll probably have your car towed. We don't want to do that, but we have to make sure that the community is safe. You can see here in Brimley Road South, there are no sidewalks or bike lanes. Well, the councillor says they are now in the early stages of planning this reconstruction to add paths along this road in the next year or two. For City News, I'm Faisal Amin.